What's up, y'all? Peter Kelly with Zeo Matrix here with uh, another Tableau how-to video. Appreciate y'all joining us uh, on this video. Um, this video is actually going to be a continuation of our last one, where we looked at uh, year-to-date, month-to-date, and quarter-to-date calculations and how to do those in Tableau. What we're going to look at this time is how to use those in a dashboard. Um, if you're if you watch our last video, this should look very familiar. This is exactly where we left off. We're just going to be picking it up and going on to the next phase. Um, now, depending on your use case and what you're trying to look at, what you're trying to show your users, um, you may need to see all of these metrics uh, in the same view. Totally fine. We can just we could just throw all of these into their own sheet or keep them in this one and put it on a dashboard, and we'd be good to go. Uh, but what we're going to look at here is how to use a parameter to change which metric we're actually looking at. That way, uh, you know, maybe on a, a dashboard um, with you know three or four KPIs, a few different visuals, um, we would always be looking at year-to-date numbers or month-to-date numbers or quarter-to-date numbers. Um, so that's what we're going to look at here. Um, so to start, I'm going to flip myself over to a new sheet. And to do this, uh, we'll actually start by creating a parameter here. Um, and let's just call this uh, select time frame. Um, now, I typically uh, uh, like to use uh, integers and go just one, two, three, like this. Um, like I said in, my, in, in the last video, you, while you're using Tableau and uh, depending on your use case and the data that you're dealing with, it might be easier to you know, have this listed out as a string. It, it, it's totally personal preference. There are some performance benefits to going the integer route, but whatever works best for you, absolutely on board with. Um, so I've got uh, my values one, two, and three. I'm gonna adjust the display as to be year to date, month to date, and quarter to date, like this, that way. Uh, that way, the actual uh, text that's going to appear in the parameter that users will interact with will be year to date, month to date, and quarter to date, and not the values one, two, three. Uh, we'll end up using those in the calculated field that we will um, do in a sec. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Let me go ahead and hit show parameter just so it's up here and visible. Um, so there you see the, the values that we put into the display, year, month, and quarter to date. Uh, that's what we end up using. So uh, to use this parameter, let's go ahead and give ourselves a new calculated field that I'm going to uh, I'm going to title um, sales metric. Uh, now, what we'll end up doing is an an if statement um, that runs off of the parameter that we just created. Uh, so that parameter is called uh, select time frame equals one, and I'm just going to give myself the uh, layout here. Two, if three. So we just need to tell Tableau what to do when this parameter is set to one, two, and three. Um, now I'm going to go through two ways to do this. Um, I'll say it one more time. Work, do what works best for you. Um, if you want to use this first method, awesome. If you want to go to the second method, totally cool. Um, since we have uh, a year to date, a quarter to date, and a month to date calculation already in our data now, um, I can just use those. So I can say if select time frame equals one, then year to date sale. Else if select time frame equals two, which was our month to date, I can say then month to date sale. For the three, I can say then quarter to date sale. Like this. Calculation is valid. That's awesome. Let's go ahead and throw that there. And what I'm going to do uh, to show kind of how this is going to toggle, uh, let's go ahead and give ourselves a sheet with. So we've got, let me take sales metric out for a second year, quarter, month. And now I'll put that sales metric here at the bottom. And you can watch what happens when I toggle the parameter between year to date, month to date, and quarter to date. So it's just pulling in that same value 
into this new calculated field called sales metric. Um, again, this uh, a good way to use this would be to have the parameter on your dashboard, let your users select, do you want to look at year to date, month to date, quarter to date, whatever uh, time frame they really care about. So that's method one where, and re really the, the outline of that is you have a calculation for each time frame. So in this case, year to date, month to date, quarter to date, and then one we'll call master calculation that references each of those and uses the parameter. The second way to do this would be to take those, the components that are in the individual calculations and roll them all into one. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna duplicate, to show how this works, I'm gonna duplicate that sales metric and let's rename this just sales metric two, just so we know the difference. Now, since we duplicated it, it looks the exact same as sales metric one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the logic that is in year-to-date sale, and I'm going to put it in here. So year-to-date sale, if you'll remember from our last video, just looks at order date and compares to today. So then let's take this, and we're going to come here to sales metric two, and we're going to rewrite this to be, if select time frame equals one, then... Just do that. And we're going to do the same thing now with our month to date and our quarter to date uh, options. So let's grab month to date. Like that. And we will grab quarter to date next. Now, the benefit to doing um, to using this method uh, as opposed to what we had before, um, you know, with an individual um, calculation for each time frame and then rolling them all into one. Um, some people might argue that this is a little cleaner for your workbook. Um, you know, instead of, you know, if you think about, let's say you've got a workbook where you're looking at eight metrics and four time frames, um, instead of having 32 calculations. Uh, you know, one for each time frame for each metric, and then a master for each of those metrics that's going to run off the parameter. You just have one per metric that has the logic built into it. Um, so again, this really is kind of personal preference. Um, if you're able to, you know, if, if working like this works for you, fantastic, go for it. Um, if you're somebody who needs to have, you know, compartmentalize, you know, here's how this you know, you know, this time frame is here. This time frame is there. Um, go for it as, as well. Um, you know, there, there's no real. You know, there are pros and cons to both. We want, we want whatever is going to work best for you. Um, so let's hit OK. And just to show that this works, I'm going to put sales metric there. I'm sorry, sales metric two. And when we go year to date, you see that they both flex now to align with the number. Uh, in the uh, in the original calculation, so a uh, cool way to use year to date, month to date, and quarter to date calculations, um, or really, I mean, you can expand that to whatever time frame you are looking at, um, and uh, allows uh, some some flexibility for your users um, to kind of select the time frame uh, that they want to view. Hope this video was helpful for y'all and cleared some things up. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a like, share the video with your colleagues, or subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're interested in partnering with Zeo Matrix, check out the information below. We'd love to work with you. Talk to y'all soon.